tonight is Sunday dinner time. So it's Saturday night at 9 15 p.m. and I am just getting ready for Sunday dinner. As you can see from the um, laundry room, it is a mess. But as you can see, I have um, partially finished dresser drawers. So it's been a busy day. I went to Sam's and um, did a little shopping there. And I'm gonna cook my husband a nice Sunday dinner. So let's get into it. Let go. So I'm gonna, cook, I'm gonna cook some collards today. So I wanna get this pot washed and get my smoked turkey going. Um, that's the first step because that's gonna probably be one of the things that take the longest. So we will, and they're still frozen, but it's okay because um, they're gonna boil and boil and boil and boil. So I'm not worried about them being frozen. I'm gonna put them right in the pot. Um, if you guys have seen, if you've seen my method before, you know that um, I boil them like two or three times, so they'll be just fine. I feel like my whole house is a, a mess today. I feel like nothing is in order. We've been doing quite a lot of spring cleaning, so things are in disarray. And what I mean by spring cleaning is we've been going through things and purging paperwork and um, just a I don't know if you caught that, but just as I was putting the drums into the water, one of them broke and they just like plopped down in there. So I'm glad that I was over the pot. <laughs> so this is beef stew meat and this, the type of beef is Angus. I've never, I don't think I've ever eaten Angus before, but we're gonna try it today. Um, I kind of think this is a lot of stew meat Let's see how much it looks like. I may be able to put some of this. This is a lot. No. This is a lot. All right, we want to go ahead and season um, our meat. The first thing we want to use is some garlic powder. So we're gonna add garlic powder there. We also wanna add just a little salt. We wanna have flavor, but not too much flavor. And I'm gonna show you why. It's because I'm gonna use this seasoning packs. Uh, it's slow cooker, cooker seasoning mix uh, for hearty beef soup stew. Um, and I heard, I've never tried this, but I heard that this seasoning smells really good. It's very flavorful. So we're just gonna add um, that seasoning pack. I want just a little kick. So I'm gonna put just a little, I don't have any cayenne pepper. I added just a few crushed red pepper flakes. Um, and we're gonna get that mixed in really good. And then we're gonna add flour. So we'll get that seasoned season mixed in really good. Uh-uh. Then I'll go get the flour. And y'all know I'm an eyeballer. I like to eyeball it. 
So the purpose is to just coat the beef stew. So we want to add in just enough to get it nice and coated. This is going to um, this is going to get that nice um, thick gravy on it. And the first thing we're going to do is fry this meat. So we want it to have enough flour to do its job. Okay. All right. So now that we got that coated really good, I'm going to go ahead and grab a pan and then we will warm the grease and get those babies frying. The smoked turkey legs are, are boiling good. I've turned on the pan that I'm going to use to fry the beef stew. We want to make sure that the bottom of the pan is coated. So let's wait and let that get nice and hot and then we'll add the beef stew. The water's boiling really good, y'all. I don't see a whole lot of that film that I normally see. Um, this is the first time that I have started from frozen smoked turkey in a while. I don't, I don't know if that made the difference, but I don't even see the film around the inside of the pan. That makes me happy. I'm still gonna rinse that out. Make sure it's rinsed really good. And rinse off the meat. And I'm gonna test the test it out this time to see if I get any of that film. But I'm really happy that I don't see the film that I normally see. Um, if you watch my black eye my video where I cook black eyed peas then um, you saw an example of that film in that video. It's already soaked up that grease. I don't want to make it too greasy. So let's see how that does. It smells delicious, you guys. It smells absolutely delicious. I don't think I have the pan up high enough, but I don't want it to burn. The key is to keep turning it. Oh, it smells amazing. It smells absolutely amazing. I want it to continue to fry. I don't want to add water yet. So we'll just let it do what it's doing. We want it to brown. This meat smells amazing. While that's doing that, I'm going to move all of this stuff out of the way and get my crock pot ready to go.
and most of the videos that you've seen before I've used my large crock pot but I think I'll be fine with the small one this time so that's the one that I'm setting up we'll go ahead and get that turned on This meat smells amazing. Y'all don't hear me. So good. Smells so good already. That seasoning that we use, that beef stew seasoning, is what I smell and it smells so good. So we'll let that cook a little more and I'll check back in in a minute. Just a little. Oh yeah, this is what we want, y'all. We want it to, it looks good, it's browning. It's cooking. I'm ready to transfer it to the crock pot. It's actually sticking a little bit because of the flour, but it's okay. This is gonna be good. Do y'all see? three and a half garlic cloves so we're going to add all of that to our pot i also love cooking with bay leaves so i'm going to add probably about depending on what size they are but probably about two bay leaves i hope my arm isn't all in the way so, we're going to add some bay leaves. That's one and a half, so let me add one more. All right. And we'll give that not really a stir but kind of get it down in the juices add some more chicken broth i just wanted to come to the top of the meat I do want to show you before my battery dies that uh, one thing I forgot to add is bell pepper. I actually cut up some bell pepper in a previous video that was getting soft and I didn't want to lose it. I cut it up and froze it. So I'm going to add a handful of bell, um, green bell pepper and a handful of colored bell pepper. This is yellow, orange, and um, red to the stew meat and let it cook down all right much flavor as possible so it looks really good it smells good and that's gonna cook down in it i have never tried this i bought it some time ago and all it takes is water or milk so i'm gonna taste it and see if it's sweet i don't know if it tastes cornbread mix but I'm going to give it a taste and see if the mixture 
has a sweet taste to it. And if it does, it's not yellow like the other one. It's more white. This one doesn't need egg. Just water or milk. I'm going to add milk till I get till it gets to the consistency that I like. And then that pan should be ready because it was already hot from the oven. This is a uh, white lily buttermilk enriched white cornmeal mix. So I'm going to add, I didn't have much, probably a quarter of a cup. I added that. I'm going to add just a smidgen more milk because it's almost there. Oh man, I can't believe I did that. It's uh, 11.13 y'all. I'm going to lay down. All of that grease off. And then add the cornbread. I believe this is going to be better than the first one. I know it is because the first one was going to be super sweet. I wanted to see how much longer the greens needed. So I tasted them. And they done. I must have cooked them longer than I thought I would did when I pre-boiled them. But they are really good. I got one more little taste. But I just cut that off. I'm gonna sit that in, on the cutting board. I just cut the greens off. Cornbread is done. And the stew meat smells amazing. It's got a ways to go, but it smells amazing. I want it falling apart. And so it's gonna cook, it's 12, 13. I'm gonna get up about four o'clock and check this I'm gonna let this cool and I'm gonna go lay down so with that being said um, if you're still watching this video thank you so much for tuning in if you like what you see make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you're the first one to know every time I upload a Sunday dinner video I am going like I said it's 12 13 hmm I'm going to lay it down. Love you guys. See you in the morning. All right. 442. That's what it looks like. So good. It looks so good. I gave it a little taste. It tastes a little different. <laughs> Than regular stew meat, the Angus beef. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna add a few seasons. I've turned the pot off, and in the morning I'll transfer it over to a big pot, and I'm gonna add a little water and seasoning. But for the most part, dinner is done. I make the rice in the morning. Um, and finish dinner up. So I'll be back at seven o'clock. See you guys soon. I'm going to transfer the stew meat into this pot. I, I, I keep saying it, but I'm doing it today. I'm throwing this pot away. Everything I cook in it sticks. I, I just don't care for it. I'm going to use this. If you're interested in knowing this is, is like a frying pan slash casserole. Um, pot. It's by Wolfgang Puck. It's the 11 inch casserole stainless steel and it's a really good pot. 
So the stew beef put you where you can really. I got my little tester. The stew beef is really sticking in this pot. I mean really sticking. Y'all wanna see what it look like? Let me show you. You can see the potatoes in it. You can see the peas and carrots. The meat is starting to fall apart. That's a bay leaf floating in there. Seasoning that pot up real good. All right. I think I can turn the collards down. They're going good. 